Kevin Garcia undefeated 4-0. But the big advantage, he has three inches on height. Yes, he has the height advantage. Will it be effective tonight? Will he use that height? Garcia is also 4-0 quite experienced at such a young age. And Nika, not too much older, but the age sometimes plays a factor out here. That is our first fight for tonight. Our ring announcer, the one and only Lupe Contreras. From the Aztec capital, Mexico City, Mexico. This is, esto es, Combate America. The judges are, los jueces son, Hugo Lezama, Javier Rodríguez y Alberto Arellano Chopa. El referee, Miguel Jiménez. Introducing the blue corner, presentando en la esquina azul. Vestido de negro con vivos blancos. He steps in wearing the black trunks with white trim. When he stepped on the scale, he weighed in at an official 135 pounds cuando pisó la báscula. Registró un peso oficial de 135 libras. Y en seis combates a nivel profesional, mantiene un récord de cinco victorias y una derrota. En six pro bouts, he has five victories against one lone defeat. Representando a Saltillo, Coahuila, México. Enrique Quique Barraga. His opponent standing across the cage, su contrario, vestido de rojo, con vivos grises y negros. Wearing red with gray and black trim, he weighed in at an identical 135 pounds at Tuba La Báscula, a un peso identico de 135 libras. And he enters the cage, undefeated as a pro with four victories. Entra a la jaula, invicto a nivel profesional con cuatro victorias. Representando a la Sultana del Norte, Monterrey, Nuevo León, México. Kevin. Prendido Garcia. Ok, hablamos ya de las reglas. Quiero una pelea limpia. Cuídense en todo momento. Choquen guantes y a sus esquinas. Opening bout of the night. Ready to go. Enrique Quique Barragan. He's five and one. All five of his victories have been KOs. He's in the black trunks. There you see the horn, they shake hands in the middle. Right standing right there in Mexico is Kevin Garcia, 18 years old. He's 4-0, Monterrey, northern part of the state of Mexico. As you mentioned in the open, he went to San Jose, California, Gilbert, and got some awesome work experience for an 18-year-old. Absolutely, as you can see, both these guys staying in the center of the octagon, not much running. Yes, a couple steps backwards, but they're both looking to stay in there. Beautiful double leg takedown by Garcia. He's in the guard looking to pass, pushing down that knee, seeing if he could pass. Looks like he's in half guard now. Not quite yet. He can step over that right leg of Enrique. He can move to half guard, but he's also comfortable probably here in the guard. Garcia in the red trunks. Big stage for both of these young fighters. Opening bout, telling us in the fighter meetings that they want to come in and put on a show immediately in the opening round. Beautiful pass by Garcia right here. He opened the guard up and slid home to the side mount here. Now he's controlling with a lot of pressure here, holding Enrique. Garcia, been fighting for three years, been training for three years, and he's one of the rare Mexican fighters that was able to find a jiu-jitsu gym he started at the age of 15. He was looking around, looking around, growing up in Monterrey. He said he always was attracted to the sport, but couldn't find anywhere to train. Finally found a gym. He signed up immediately. We got some great wrestling by Garcia. And he's holding in the guard here, looking to pass, looking to control. He believes he's winning, but Enrique is pretty busy off his back. Got back to guard when he did get past the side mount, looking to control that overhook, score some punches, maybe trying to set up a triangle here. Barragan on his back in the black trunk. Favorite fighter, Anderson Spider Silva. Yeah, you can see he was trying to strike. He likes Anderson Silva and, and he feels like he wants to work off his back and he has a comfortable guard, says he has submissions and is comfortable in this position. And he looks that way right now. Barragan from Saltillo, Coahuila, Mexico. Rush Mar Martial Arts, he started four years ago. 
you were telling me this before we went on the air about how these young fighters are finding the sport, Gilbert, and it just forget wrestling. They're going straight to jiu-jitsu or MMA, and it's been a big boon in Mexico for these young fighters. Yes, absolutely. You usually see someone have a, an emphasis or, or a specialty, maybe a striker or a wrestler, but nowadays these youngsters are starting at a young age and they're becoming well-rounded mixed martial artists. Still, Garcia continuing to work the ground and pound here. Could be a little more active, looking to pass. Got the tripod here. Enrique is busy off his back, landing punches. But in this sport, when you're on your back and if you're not getting a submission or doing big damage from your back, you're probably losing the round. So he needs to look to get a submission or try to get back to his feet. Garcia is comfortable here, grounding and pounding the body and controlling the fight. Okay, Garcia has the jiu-jitsu background. Barragan doesn't. And Barragan's land in the meeting. I want to say on my feet. That's what he expected. Here's his chance to get up. Now they're back on their feet. And in Mexico City, you see them both breathing heavy here. The altitude does take a toll on you. Absolutely. I, ha I had that first hand experience, right? Yeah, I was here first hand experience. Had a beautiful takedown to side mount. His head's trapped, but he's comfortable. Securing side mount, Garcia is. His wrestling has been the difference so far in this fight. Both guys look comfortable on their feet, but it's the takedown of Garcia that's been most effective. Garcia's been most of the round on top. 18 years old, Kevin Garcia. He was a very confident fighter after spending those two months in San Jose, and you even joked, you know, you knew everybody he was working out there with. Yeah, absolutely. You know, if you get a lock horn with some pros, it just levels you up, you know. Just being able to spar them, train with them, you'd see things, and it makes your reaction better, and it just makes you better. And you said he came back with a lot of confidence. Well, you would, because there's no, no work for him in Monterrey. Garcia looking to take the back, but slipped off, bounces right back up. Enrique is happy to be on their feet. Barragan in the black shorts. Another takedown from Garcia. Great takedown by Garcia. Kind of lured Barragan in. Barragan has to be a little more patient and pick his punches. He knows he's getting taken down. He can't be so aggressive with the strikes. Good round for Kevin Garcia, the 18-year-old. 10 seconds to go in the opening round. See if he tries to drop a big punch to end it off here. And that'll do it for the first one. Mentioned how he went to San Jose for those two months. It was basically, they were looking at him. He went, did well for himself, held his own, came back to Monterrey, had a manager. So, oh, good left hook landed by Garcia. Open up the second round. Check the good right hand from Garcia. He said his hands were strong. Finally get a chance to see it here. Front kick by Barragan. He's in the black. Second round. With three five-minute rounds. I think we'd open up a round, isn't it? Absolutely. So chin check? Absolutely. I think Enrique senses that Garcia is a little tight. Oh, lands right in the mouth position. Bad shot by Garcia. Now we got the back, the hooks in. Here comes some killer ground and pound by Maragon. He's going, he's going for the finish. Garcia needs to get out of here. Oh, this ref can stop it. How does he get out of there? He needs to give up that position here and do it back. Get up the mount, push that knee, get away. The covering and it is side. over. It's it over. has been stopped. Enrique Barragan stops Kevin Garcia in the second. And Garcia takes defeat for the first time in his career. He is disappointed looking at the referee. Like, Why'd you stop that? Yeah, you know. That's the one right there. Immediately you jumped on it, right? And there he goes. The hooks are in. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Miguel Jimenez calls a halt to this contest with an official time of 48 seconds of round number two. Damas y caballeros, el referee Miguel Jimenez detiene el combate con un tiempo oficial de 48 segundos del segundo episodio. Declarando el ganador, declaring the winner by way of technical knockout por knockout técnico Quique Enrique Barraga Desde Saltillo, Coahuila, México Enrique Barraga and improves the 6 and 1 all 6 of his fights that have won have come by a stoppage